And I want to quickly go across to Zaka Jacob uh, joining us from uh, Washington DC once again. Uh, Zaka keeping up uh, with the CNN coverage, you know, they have uh, given 19 uh, electoral uh, votes, electoral college votes to Donald Trump as opposed to three to Kamala Harris too soon in the game. Kentucky, Indiana given to Trump uh, as opposed to Vermont given to Harris, but all eyes really on the swing state of Georgia. Oh, absolutely. Uh, 7 p.m., it was 15 minutes ago, all of these states closed. Kentucky, Indiana have been reliably red states. They are hardcore Republican states. So those states have gone uh, to Donald Trump. No surprises there at all. Georgia, I suspect, will take some time. Uh, I think the one big clue that we need to look out for are these two states which, have now, uh, which are closing early. Georgia is closed at 7. North Carolina will close in another 15 minutes. If Kamala Harris ha is running up numbers better than what Joe Biden did. Remember, Joe Biden won Georgia by a mere uh, 12,000 or so votes uh, last time around. That counting went on for four days. If she's able to run up similar numbers like Joe Biden in Georgia and like Joe Biden did in North Carolina, even though he lost North Carolina to Donald Trump, if she's able to maintain the same level of vote, then it's going to be a good night for her. If, on the contrary, Trump takes Georgia back, and runs up better numbers than he ran last time and defeats the Democratic candidate this time around, wins Georgia and retains North Carolina at better numbers than last time, then it's going to be a good night for Donald Trump. It's going to be a tough one for Kamala Harris because then uh, she pretty much has to uh, depend on that very narrow path to victory, which is winning Wisconsin, Michigan and Pennsylvania. That is 44 electoral college votes. It is the so-called blue wall states. I suspect Pennsylvania is the biggest one and therefore uh, it's the biggest prize of the night for both uh, the Republicans and the Democrats. But like I said, uh, if in Georgia and in North Carolina, she's not able to run up the numbers just like Joe Biden did four years ago, then uh, she has to focus her energies entirely on that narrow path to 270, which is Wisconsin, Michigan and Pennsylvania. Uh, so Pennsylvania closes at 8 o'clock, which is about 45 minutes from now. I don't see any of the networks being able to call Pennsylvania uh, anytime soon. Uh, similarly, Michigan and Wisconsin close at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, that's in uh, uh, an hour and 45 minutes. So again, I don't see any of the networks being in a position to call Wisconsin, Michigan and Pennsylvania. So it's going to be a long night. But like I said, what you need to really look out for is in some of these competitive uh, states. Uh, uh, Florida, for example, uh, used to be a battleground state for the last couple of election cycles. Donald Trump has won it and won it pretty, pretty successfully. Uh, you have a Republican governor in Ron DeSantis in Florida. What you need to look out for is, is... Kamala Harris doing better than what Hillary Clinton did in 2016? And is she able to match the numbers that Joe Biden got in 2020? If she's there in that same ballpark, then yes, she will be in for a good night in states like Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin. If she is under polling, underperforming compared to Biden and certainly compared to Hillary Clinton, then it's going to be a long and rough night for her. So I think this is what uh, you need to sort of keep an eye out for. CNN is also showing Virginia. Very early days uh, in just about 2 million votes. Uh, very little that separates uh, both the candidates. In fact, uh, uh, Donald Trump leading with 9,000 votes. Kamala Harris at 7,000 votes. Virginia, again, uh, is a blue state. It is a reliably blue state for the last couple of election cycles. So you would expect Kamala Harris to carry Virginia. Again, you will get a bunch of uh, uh, voter data coming out. Uh, in batches. So this could be either the mail-in votes or it could be uh, certain urban pockets, which is reporting earlier than some of the rural pockets. But uh, the next thing to watch out for in about 10 minutes time is the state of North Carolina. It's been badly affected by Hurricane Helen. Uh, whether or not that, uh, you know, increases or depresses the turnout, we'll have to wait and see. But we did get reports from North Carolina earlier today about a substantial number of African-Americans turning up at the hustings. And therefore, that is something that uh, the Harris campaign will be closely watching for. What they're essentially looking at in the next one hour is, is there a path to 270 for Kamala Harris, uh, not depending entirely on just Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan? That depends entirely on if she can open up a path through either Georgia or through North Carolina. If not, then it's down to the blue wall, which basically means you're putting all your uh, 
eggs in one basket.